This is Main Street in Flushing, taken over by a Black Lives Matters march tonight. Hundreds gathering in Riverview Park before taking to the streets. The event organized by four recent Flushing High graduates. We live here when we come back from college and we see what's going on in this world and we, we, we want to be a part of that change too. Um, it can happen in the big cities, but a change needs to start somewhere and it could start somewhere small just as in Flushing. There were many speakers that took the stage. That included Trishelle Young, who is running for Genesee County Prosecutor, and Congressman Dan Kildee. I think the biggest thing is that we, we can't just have another moment of silence. We have to seek real change. We have to have policy change. Um, and, and that means across the spectrum, basically policies that are more inclusive, economic policies that are more inclusive. We can't continue down this path where we have essentially two societies. I think the people that are really about Black Lives Matter don't want to destroy anything. They, they do want to peacefully protest, but get their message across still. And getting your message across is not destroying anything. It's, it's peacefully walking and, and chanting and just being a part of the, the real movement. Why is this a, a very important thing? Because this could have been Flint, this could have been Davidson, this could have been someplace else. Why was Flushing so important to you? Because this is my hometown, and I don't ever want to see racism grow and bloom here. I want these people to be safe every single day. Yes. I want that little boy to grow up and be able to be whatever he wants to be. And I don't want him to ever be afraid because a police officer pulls him over. Right. 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 That's what we all want. No justice, no peace. In Flushing, for WNEM TV5, I'm Scott Johnson.